The ocean may look pretty calm right now, but by this weekend, it could be very dangerous for swimmers. Hurricane Ernesto is expected to kick up the threat of rip currents and make for a very rough surf. Lifeguards want to make sure that you are staying safe. CBS Philadelphia's Madeline Wright spoke with Beach Patrol in Ventnor. Madeline, they can be scary. Absolutely, Jessica. It's windy right now. It's sunny and we're already starting to feel the effects of Hurricane Ernesto. If you take a look, you can see these swells here off the shore. The Beach Patrol says those swells are two to four feet high and they're expected to substantially increase over the weekend. Lifeguards say swimming restrictions will likely be in place. Nine-year-old Callie Hagiana Thanasiu is soaking up the last few days of her family vacation in Ventnor. It's pretty fun. I, I want to go in the water like, and use my boogie board. It's pretty warm actually today. But this weekend, she might have to stay out of the water. Ventnor City Beach Patrol Captain David Funk is expecting dangerous rip currents thanks to Ernesto. I foresee this weekend bathing being down to a minimum, if not totally um, closed off due to the ocean conditions that we're expecting. There are 11 towers where lifeguards will be keeping a close eye on swimmers. They'll also be patrolling up and down the beach. The beach patrol relies heavily on high school and college students, many of whom are going back to school soon. Over a third of our beach patrol is um, under 21. So we lose anywhere from 10 to 20 lifeguards um, between last week and the next and Labor Day. So but like as I said, we will be able to um, backfill. Backfill means they'll use instructors and lieutenants to lifeguard. So beachgoers like Brooke Kaffenberg don't lose any protection. The kids go in, but I feel pretty safe with the lifeguards being around here. So whatever whatever they say is what we follow. Nine year old Callie is planning to do the same. She's holding on to summer as long as she can with school starting in just 10 days. Sad and I don't want to go back to school. I would just want to stay on the beach. I think she speaks for all of us there. Some beach communities use flags to let people know if swimming is allowed or not. Lifeguards here say they'll alert you to the conditions. Live in Ventnor, Madeline Wright, CBS News, Philadelphia. All right, Madeline, thank you.